Hey guys, welcome to Sama Pizza Mat. My name is Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today we're making a sausage and fennel pizza in a cast iron skillet. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. So this pizza is inspired by my pizza buddy, Jason. Uh, we recently had lunch and you were talking about different ways to make pizza and you brought it up and I was like, oh, that sounds like a cool way to make pizza. I've never done it before. It sounds like it'd be really tasty. So I did some research. I watched a Bon Appetit video and it's just kind of based on that. So it's uh, sausage, fennel, sauce cheese, some garlic, and I think that's it. Okay, so I'm hoping it's tasty. It's in the oven right now. So for this pizza, I actually bought a cast iron skillet. They're really inexpensive. I think the, the one I got was about 20 bucks. And um, yeah, so this is my first time cooking in it. So this could be a total disaster. I don't know uh, because of, there's a whole like pre-seasoning thing mm -hmm. or whatever. And you gotta cook something in it though, or it's, right. I mean like, so, at some point it's gotta get hot. You gotta cook something in it, so. Speaking of hot, welcome to the the summer 2019 blazing hot sweaty edition. Of yeah, endless Sun summer Pizza baby. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I cooked the sausage first in the skillet and then I took it out, I left the grease in there and I kind of kept the the, the uh, pan hot and then I put the pizza dough on top of it or in the pan and then I just topped it like I would normal pizza sauce cheese put the cooked sausage the uh, what do you call it the garlic and then the raw fennel uh, I was on the fence about cooking the fennel beforehand uh, but according to Claire at Bon Appetit it should cook Okay. So, also the oven temperature is a lot lower. It's at 475. So, I don't know. But anyway, what are your thoughts on cast iron pizza? Um, I think it'll be good. I mean, I think it's gonna I've be never, like- I've never had one. Have you had one before? No, I have okay. not. Okay. But we, but I think it's gonna be like how a, um, I don't know, like how about the, the pizzas are at, um, what's it called, they're like, um, Pequod's, mm -hmm. where it's like basically like a, I mean, maybe that, maybe there'll be some caramelization on it, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a deep dish pizza. I hear right. the, the, the ding a -ling. well, hold on. Okay. So we're gonna give it uh, three more minutes. I, the crust isn't as brown as I want it to be, so. Okay. But yeah, the, um. No, wait, is it peeling up? Can you get underneath it? I don't know, I haven't tried. Okay, then where are you saying the crust at? Oh, on the top it's not even as brown as you want. The top, right. I see, I see. The cornichon. Yeah, that's the other thing is that I, the only thing about the seasoning is that I feel like the seasoning, the magic, or like the thing that everyone's after is that it becomes sort of like a non-stick pan, like a natural non-stick right. pan. And I am curious to see how well it releases. Right. I think like cooking the sausage in it at first is a really good way to kind of like pre-season it. So. I, yeah, I, I'm feeling like it's gonna come up, but I still feel like it's gonna maybe be a little, I, a little I, grippy. I think, I think this, this will be a good uh, test. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna come out great, but we'll see. Uh, so I've seen worse. Yeah, we've uh, done worse. We've definitely done worse. So cast iron, if you don't know, I was looking it up and it's really cool how they make it. It's basically uh, cast iron. <laughs> Shut so up. It's actually, it's actually not just iron. I learned that it's actually iron and some other metals. Um, yeah. And they, they mold it from sand, which is kind of cool. They like compact sand. They put them, put a, a mold, whatever you want to kind of duplicate or whatever. And then they, they harden it. They harden the sand, right? Mm -hmm. And then they pour uh, the iron or whatever, the hot liquid, the metal, metal yep. into it. And then they, it forms. And then you kind of, 
you know, buff it out or whatever, make it all pretty. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. So yeah. the thing with cast iron is that when it when it's um, when it's not seasoned, it's very porous. Right. So the thing with seasoning is that you add a bunch of um, like oil. Of oil. So after after we do this, I'm gonna have to douse it or not douse it, but like put some oil on it, rub it in. And then there's lots of videos on the internet yeah. about how to do this or whatever. So, but this I think is a really good investment because yeah. I have always wanted to have a cast iron skillet. I used to have one a long time ago. I think I had it in storage, but it's I think it's long gone at this point. But um, yeah, I love the idea of something like that. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. All right, here we come. Oh boy, look at that. Okay, it's wild. No, it's a crazy pie. So here's the pizza. Looks really good. So I'm gonna dress it with some fresh basil to make it look look pretty. The green on anything will make it look good. Is that what is that how it is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't you wanna just eat that now? I mean I wanted to eat it before. Well now you're gonna now I'm gonna really eat it. Really wanna eat it. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of crushed red pepper, just for a little bit of a little bit of heat. Yeah, a little bit of heat. How? So, what kind of sausage was this again? Just Italian. Just sausage. Italian sausage. Okay. Sweet Italian sausage. Got it. And then just a little bit of oil on top. That's it. Okay. Uh, to get this thing out, I didn't really think about that, but I think. Oh, it's coming right up. Oh, that's super easy. Okay. Yeah, the crust is nice and golden. Okay. Ta -da. Ta -da. So there's probably sausage, little sausage bits on the underside of the pizza, which is fine. Ooh, delicious. Crusty bits. It's kind of cool. Okay, so getting it out is pretty easy. Let's see what, this, what the pizza booty looks like. Ooh, baby. So it's got a bunch of uh, sausage bits like baked into it. From a leftover sausage. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the, the crust is nicely done. It's not it's not your it's not traditional like uh, there's something like um it looks like a tart, like a meat tart or a meat pie or something. Just like really big. There's something paste it's like feels very much more like a pastry. I don't know. Well, hopefully it doesn't taste like the pastry. No, it's gonna be very savory, I think. Okay. 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 So when I put the dough into the skillet, I wasn't able to get it completely flat, so there's some fold over, which is fine. Um, I don't know, it looks... It could almost be like a little underdone. Oh my god. What? When can we eat it? Hold on! Jeez. I'm looking at the pizza. I've never done this before. Aren't you excited? No, I'm hungry. So yeah, that's the underside. Okay. So like a little chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. It's definitely got like a like a like a baked feel to it. That's where the crust goes. One of these days, I'd love to eat a pizza that's not piping hot, so I can taste it. I can taste it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. it tastes delicious. It's good. I just wish I could wish I had my taste buds back. They're all gone now. They're burnt away. I would try this again for sure. If you have a cast iron skillet at home, I would definitely recommend trying it. I think it's uh, you know something fun. It's different. It's not your typical pizza. And if you don't want to, I mean, you're still heating up the oven, but you know, it's kind of cool because it's almost like having like a, it's almost like a pizza steel a little bit. Kind of, yeah. It, it works it, in that way. Cast iron retains heat very well, and it spreads it over evenly. Too. Right. It's like it's like super hot even heat. Right. So um, yeah, it's good for a nice even retention. Yes. Yeah. Right. So I would I would definitely. Try it out. I'm, I'm gonna try it out again for sure. And yeah, let me know if you try it out and tag me and stuff. 
So thank you guys for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Just hit that button down below. Uh, like up this video. And until next time, ciao for now. Smell you later. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever